What's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome to another IR Skulls video. Today during a live stream I had somebody come in and ask how to uh, quickly sculpt the mouth and so uh, today's video is a little unedited and a little different and hopefully you guys like this sort of stuff. So if you do please comment down below but let's go ahead and get into the video and don't forget to subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Hit me up on my socials. Links are all down below in the description. All right guys let's do it. So keep those in mind but I, yeah i think you're on a great start so i think everything is going really well um and then like i said i'd make a mouth bag and to do that if we go into zbrush real quick what i would do is if you can i'm not sure with blender um as i don't work with it very often but if you can get your poly groups going and then what i would do is i would select so like a shape like this where you're taking up almost three rows of your poly group and I would specifically then target this group here and extrude it inwards a couple times because then what this will do is when you would either smooth this or start to create the mouth itself you can actually start getting a lot of that information, the natural information of how a mouth moves by having that kind of opening to work with. And you can even, in ZBrush, you can even select on the inside, invert that mesh, and start like pulling this out. I'm sure you can do this in Blender too. I've seen something similar. I just haven't done it myself. But if you create like a mouth bag like this, just real quickly, what this will do is create natural shadows. You see here how all of a sudden the mouth looks dark. So that will create natural shadows. And then when you actually kind of like Z remesh it or retopologize it, you can actually get some really nice edge loops happening and some good pinching happening. And then you can even come in and kind of start closing it up a little bit. Something like this. And you can get those that natural look of the mouth and then too as you can see as i'm pushing this part back the surrounding area kind of wants to fold up kind of like cheeks it's definitely something to do so now you're getting the natural shadows of the mouth happening as well as the natural cheeks happening as well and then in if you go ahead and in zbrush we use zremesher and blender i think there's something similar if you were to go ahead and zremesh this you can see now Let's actually go a little lower. Let's try three. You actually see how like the edge loops want to flow around that. And then when I smooth this out, I now start creating this little dip right here, right in the corner of the mouth. If we look at the muscle charts, the top of the mouth, the way these muscles pull back, you get this little bit of a, of a nice little kind of a, I don't want to call it a bag, but you get like a little puffy part next to your mouth. And that will kind of help set that up for success. And then you can get that smile line drawn up into the nose and back down. And then you can start getting your your uh, your chin and lower lip. And before you know it, you have the resemblance and shape of lips. Just like that. So hopefully that makes sense. Hey, what's up, Brian? Uncle Jesse! <laughs> What's up, dude? Shout out to Uncle Jesse, man. This guy's. if you guys want to know anything about 3D printing, shout out to that man right there. If you don't know who he is, click him right now. Like, I don't know why you're still here. <laughs> click that. This is great. Thank you so much, IRR. The mouth split is a great idea. Do not think about this. Yeah, no, it's the best. It's one of the best approaches I, to date, use. And like you saw, in just a couple minutes, you can get something to work with. And then how you shape the lips, really pay attention to... The style in which his lips are, it's like a frown, you know what I mean? So really make sure that you get that, you really get that shape. And the illusion here is that it's down, but it's also back. So make sure that when you start pinching some of this together, right, that you're not only coming down with the, with the lips, but you're also pushing them back. And this is a big misnomer that happens a lot because in in a human face and it doesn't really matter we could pull up some real reference you always get this s curve shape 
that happens where the mouth, cheek, and nose will all meet up. And it's always through this nice flow. If you look at the human body, 90% of it is derivative of some sort of S curve. So yeah. I'm here to learn from me a simple mouth tutorial is a great idea. Heck yeah. Yeah, somebody clip that too. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna note that down. How to quickly make a mouth. I'll post it up on my YouTube. I've been lazy. I haven't posted a YouTube video directly in a while, so I'm gonna make sure I do that. Um, I, I know I've slacked on that, but life has been stupid for me. <laughs> Clip it. Um, two 